Dr. C here. So we're going to do the last one, which is 12.5%. So what I should do is do 1.25 and then go up to 10 so that we would be consistent. But it's really hard to get 1.25 on these little graduated cylinders. They're not really designed to go in that um, precise down that far with their measurements. So what I'm going to do anyway is I'm going to fill it up to one and then go to eight. And if you do that math, it's the same percentage. So that's what we care about. Um, is that it's the same purity percentage versus did I always use 10 mils and eight mils will be enough for me to do my rinse. So since I only need one mil of my dye, I'm going to use the pipette because I don't want to go too far. So fill it up. It's right there on the meniscus. There we go. It's not much, just a little bit of a little bit of a guy there on the bottom. Then we're gonna go to eight to get our 12.5. You should notice that the color is getting less and less yellow. I think that's close. Put into my beaker here. Swear it up. Use my cuvette. Dump it out hands because I'm right-handed. All right. Rinse. And then last one, fill it up. Uh -huh. Good amount there. Perfect. All right, same thing. Oh, almost forgot. No air bubbles, so it would have been okay. But you never know. Better safe than sorry. Tap it in. Tap my graph. Let it run. Okay, we got it. Stop. Now, last thing we noticed is, you know, we were trying to get this data point. Dr. Zach mentioned that we could go to the table. So if we go to the table, we can actually find the 4.24. Just to let you know, the number last time with Dr. Zach's wavelength was the same. So you can see the absorbances don't change that much if you're just a little bit off. But we'll do this so that we could be right on to the same wavelength that we had last time just for consistency sake. But for the last video, don't worry, it was the same. So you want to get this number right here. This is our absorbance. And it's going to go in this part right here. And then same thing, take this concentration, divide it in half. So now you should have this entire graph, uh, this entire table made. And the next video, we're gonna have all of our solutions already made for you, so it'll go a lot faster. And we'll pick a new color and we'll do that one.